now moved on to one of our heaviest clay soils on the farm. This has been cultivated in exactly the same way. And being very heavy, quite a wet piece of soil, this is one of our worst black grass fields as well. So this is coming into spring barley. So we've cultivated this field in the same way. The area where I'm operating at the moment um, has been cultivated twice with the surface cultivator. So we've just cultivated the surface of the soil here, incorporated the organic matter, crop residue just into the surface. We haven't disrupted any of the worm holes in the bottom and there's worms working through the soil as we speak. There's one just there. But this soil has got no crop growing in it over winter in order to help extract moisture or preserve any nutrition within the soil. And it's really quite wet, sticky soil at this time of year, just when we want to drill it. The problem with this is when we pass through with the drill, we have a real problem in closing the slot, either behind a tine or with the disc, leaving our soil open and getting potentially poor crop establishment. Directly behind me, we have exactly the same field, exactly the same cultivation regime, but we've established a conditioning crop. And in there we've used oats. We didn't establish these until the 16th of October, just before the second pass of the surface cultivator. We put the cover crop on using a twin disc spreader. So it was a very quick, cheap operation to do. We've put on 55 kilos of spring oats because they produce a single upright stem they don't lie prostrate on the floor over winter allowing sun and wind to get to the soil to dry it in february and march we've also included some spring beans at 30 kilos a hectare and some spring peas at 30 kilos a hectare again we're utilizing spring types because we want them to grow directly upright and we're using a mix of species in the soil so that we're getting a mix of root type within the soil so we're using our oats to stabilize the soil surface and we're using our peas and our beans to root deeper into the soil, produce much more lateral rooting, open the soil up a bit and of course feed the soil with nitrogen through the nodulation occurring on the legume roots down here. And those nodules are nice and pink and they are producing nitrogen at this point. Any nitrogen leached from these roots is also collected and stored by the oat root and because the crop behind me has now just been sprayed off four days ago with glyphosate, we want to give a gap of at least 30 days between spraying the crop off and drilling our following cereal because of the root exudate that's coming from the oats, which is helping to suppress weeds over winter, but can equally have a negative impact on the following cereal plant. Because we're spraying both of these crops off in a soft green state, they have a very low nitrogen carbon ratio which means they will give back the nutrition they've stored very readily to the following crop. If I got mustard in here which had gone woody then I would need to allow more nitrogen to be applied because the mustard would not give that nitrogen back in this crop it would hold it for the following crop. What we can see has happened by the use of the cover crop though is that we've got a very very friable soil surface. Yes it's moist but we're here in the last week of February and I wouldn't expect this to be drying out yet. But as this crop now dies back, allowing the sun and wind to get into the soil surface and reduce its moisture level, we've got this very nice crumbly soil structure which is going to drill into really well and we're gonna have lots of stable soil aggregates that are gonna break up as they dry to allow the drill to cover in the new seed as it's drilled and get very good establishment in the crop. What you can see is a very clear difference between soil colour. This is very much lighter compared to much darker soil here. It's exactly the same soil and this is only over winter. This is the difference between a cover crop over winter and no cover crop over winter and how fundamentally the soil changes in that short period of time. The colour change because this is both warmer and got more soil organic matter in it. It's got more biological activity within it because we've been feeding the soil through the, the cover crop, harvesting sunlight. But the soil at depth is also so much drier and able to carry the next pass of machinery across this field much, much sooner without damage compared to the wet clay within the uncovered cropped area. It's a real fundamental difference.